Hence, when the clouds roll by Jamie, a proud's eye view is enjoyable of our mounding's mass, now Wallenstone National Museum, with in some greenish distance the charmful Waterloo's country and the two quite white villagettes who here show of themselves so gigglesome minks the foliages, their pretty lees. Penetrators are permitted into the museum mound free. Welsh and the Paddy Patkinses one shelling. Redis members, invalids of old guard, find Pussy Poos Pussy Pram to sate the sort of their butt. For her pass key, supply to the janitrix, the mistress cat. Tip. This is the way to the musy room, mind your hats going in. Now yous are in the Willingdon musy room. This is a Prussia's gun. This is a French. Tip. This is the flag of the Prussia's, the cap and sarasar. This is the bullet that bing the flag of the Prussia's. This is the French that fire on the bull that bang the flag of the Prussia's. Salute the cross gun, up at your pike and fork. Tip. Bull's foot. Fine. This is the triple one hat of Napoleon. Tip. Napoleon hat. This is the Willingdon on his same white horse, the Cokenhape. This is the big Srot of Willingdon, grand and magentic in his golden spurs and his iron ducks and his quarter brass woody shoes and his magnet's garters and his Bangkok's best and Gollier's galoshes and his pull upon easy on war throughs. This is his big wide horse. Tip. This is the three Napoleon boyne grouching down in the living ditch. This is an inimus gilling Inglis. This is a Scotcher grey. This is a Davy stooping. This is the bog Napoleon murdered than the Napoleon beg, a Gallagher's argument. This is the petty Napoleon boy that was neither bag nor bug. I say, I say. This is the wixty old Willingdon picket up the half of the three-foiled hat of Napoleons from out the bloodled filth. This is the Hindu waxing Ranji mad for a bomb shoe. This is the Willingdon hanking the half of the hat of Napoleon up the tail of the buckside of his big white horse. Tip. That was the last joke of Willingdon. <laughs> this is the same white horse of the Willingdon, culp and help, waggling his tailor scrub with the half of a hat of Napoleon to insult on the Hindu sea boy. Nay, nay, nay. Bull's rag fell. This is the sea boy, Madaras Hasses. Up jump and pump him, cry to the Willingdon, Ap Pukaroo, Puka, your ap. This is the door for him, sea boy. Blow the whole of the half of the hat of Napoleon's off of the top of the tail on the back of his big white horse. Tip, <coughs> bullseye, game. How Copenhagen ended. This way, the musy room. Mind your boots going out. Phew. What a warm time we were in there. But our killing is here, the air abouts. We know where she lives, but you must not tell anyone for the lamp of Jigger Lantern. She never comes out when Thon's on shower, or when Thon's flash with his Nixie girls, or when Thon's blowing tomb cracks down the gales of Thon. Fee, fo, fum. She just does hopes till buys will be buys. Here, and it goes on to appear now, she comes. A peace fugle, a parody's bird, a peri pot mother, a pringle pick in the island of Skippy, with pee-wee and pow-wows and beggy-baggy on her bicky-backy, and a flick-flask fleck-flinging its pixie-lighting pacts, who am or am I bows, picking here, pecking there, pussy-pussy, plunder-pussy. How beautiful and how true to wife of her, when strenly forbidden, to steal our historic presence from the past post-propheticals, so as to well make us all lordy heirs and lady maidesses of a pretty nice kettle of fruit. She is living in our midst of debt, and laughing through all plaws for us. Her birth is uncontrollable, with an apron for her mask, and her sabots kicking arias. So sair, so solly. If you ask me, and I sack you, how, how, Greeks may rise, and Troys us fall. There have been two sights for ever a picture. For in the byways of high improvidence, that's what makes life work leaving. And the world's a cell for sitters to sit in. Let young women run away with the story, and let young men talk smooth behind the butler's back. She knows her night's duty while Lunton sleeps. Did you save any tin, says he? Did I what? With a grin, says she. And we'll all like a married Anne, because she is mercenary. Though the length of the land lies under liquidation, flute, and there's ne'er a hairbrow nor an eyebush on this glabrous face of hair-shuffed what-o-welter, 
She loan a Vesta and her some peat and sarch the shores her cockles to heat and she'll do all a turf woman can to piff the business on. Paff, to puff the blazonous on. Puff, puff. And even if Humpty shall fall frumpty times as awkward again in the beard booze loom of all our grand remonstrances, there'll be eggs for the breckers come to mourn him, sunny side up with care. So true is it that there's where's a turn over the tay is wet too, and when you think you catch sight of a hind, make sure but you're cocked by a hint.